Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, children and families. Welcome to another story time. And today we have a felt board story for you. I'm going to show you some of the felt board pieces so you can think about what story it might be. The first pieces I'll show you are the felt board characters. The characters are the people or the animals that are in the story. This is the main character, the most important one. And there are three more characters here. Ooh. There we are. Three, four characters all together. Can you guess what story we're going to be telling? Let's talk about the names of the characters and then maybe you'll guess. Our main character is also the title of the story. This is the Little Red Hen. And with the Little Red Hen lived three of her friends, the dog, the cat, and the mouse. Well, if you remember the story, the Little Red Hen had a problem with three of her friends. We're going to put them back down here while we see the other pieces. This is the setting, the place where the story takes place. This was in the house where the little red hen, the dog, the cat, and the mouse lived all together. And these are the props or the pieces, the different things that the little red hen the dog and the cat and the mouse, they all used and are in the story. Let's see what they are. Aha. The first one is the, the seeds, the wheat seeds. Next are the, oh, the watering can that used to water the seeds. Here is the wheat after it is grown. Here is the wheat when it is ground into flour. And here is the bread that they make the wheat from. Let's show this as a sequence. The seeds are the grains of wheat, watering them. The wheat stalks that are threshed, the flour and the bread. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. And of course, to bake the bread, you'll need the oven right here. We have everything to start our story. Let's bring out our main character. Once upon a time, there lived a very industrious, hard-working little red hen. She lived in a cute little cottage with three of her friends. There was the dog who liked to sleep all day out on the front porch. There was the cat who liked to snooze and stretch and yawn all day by the fire. And there was the little, little mouse who liked to crawl into its little, little mouse house and like to curl up and snore all day long. While the little red hen, all day she worked, she would sweep the floors, she would clean the dishes, she would cook the food, she would wash the windows. She did everything and she worked so hard. How do you think she felt when she did so many things to help? and her friends didn't do anything to help her. I think I might feel frustrated, like I wanted them to change. Well, one day, the little red hen was outside on a beautiful sunny morning. She was outside getting her garden ready, like some of you may be doing now, to plant. And what did she find in the ground but oh, some grains of wheat. Oh, she was so excited. I have found these grains of wheat. She had the perfect idea. 
If she planted them, oh, she could grow them. And make, the, make all the wheat that grown into flour and make some delicious bread. She called out to her friends, who will help me plant this wheat? Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the mouse. Oh, frustrated. I will, said the little red hen. And she did. She planted them. She has her hoe right here. Well, the spring rains filtered down through, through the soil and they began to grow those lovely grains. She also watered them and took care of them here. And look, soon there were stalks, stalks of the grain growing. It was time to cut them. Also call that threshing the grains. She called out to her friends, who will help me thresh the wheat? Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen. And she did. She cut them down and tied them in a lovely bundle right here. Well, what does she do next? She has to make that flour. She's going to bring her grains of wheat to the miller. The miller is a person on at a mill who will grind the wheat into beautiful flour. And so she asked who would go and help her bring this to the miller. Who will help me bring the stalks of wheat to the miller? And what do you think the dog said? Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the mouse. Oh, said the little red hen. Oh, so frustrated. Ah, uh, then I will. And she did. And soon she came back with a sack full of soft flour, soft white flour. She knew what she would do next. She heated up her oven. She got out her eggs, milk. What else might she put in her bread? Maybe some water, maybe some yeast, ooh, to make it rise. And she called out once more to her friends. And what did she say? Who will help me bake this bread? Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the mouse. All were still just napping and snoozing and curled up. Then I will, said the little red hen. And she did. She put on her oven mitts. She poured and mixed and stirred and put the delicious batter and bread dough into the oven. She closed the oven carefully. She waited and waited and waited until she heard a ding and a smell, a delicious smell began to waft throughout the house. Now the little red hen was just taking out a hot piping loaf of bread when who should wake up but the little dog, the little cat and the mouse. They smelled the delicious bread and do you know what they wanted? Oh, they wanted a piece. They were hungry after their long naps. Now the little red hen had an idea. She asked them one last time. Who will help me eat this bread? And do you know what they said? Oh, they said, I will, said the dog. The cat said, I will, of course. And the little mouse said, I will, oh, I'll have it with some cheese. But the little red hen just shook her head. Hmm. I did not get any help when it was time for me to sow the seeds into the ground and plant them. Did you help me? Oh no. When it was time to water the seeds to help them grow, did you help me? Oh no. When it was time to thresh, thresh the wheat, did you help me? Oh no. When it was time to bring it to the miller, did you help me? Oh no, no, no. 
And when it was time to mix up the bread, bake it and put it in the oven, did you help me? Oh, no, 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 you did not. Mm -mm -mm. The little red hen shook, shook her head and said, all by myself, I have made this bread and all by myself, I will eat it. And she did to the very last crumb. Well, after that day, the little dog, the little cat, and the tiny little mouse changed their mind. Do you know what they did now? The next morning when, they, when it was time to wake up, the little red hen was awake, starting to sweep the house, starting to cook and wash the dishes. And who woke up with her? Well, the little dog, the little cat, and the little mouse. They began to help and help and help and clean and cook so that next time when there was bread to be had, they could have a piece. The end. Well, if you were the little red hen, what would you have done when the dog, the cat, and the mouse had asked for a piece of the bread? Would you share it with them? Or would you tell them no? Hmm, I wonder what you would say to them. You may also think, hmm, what would I tell the dog, the cat, and the mouse that they should do so that next time they can have something I cook? What would be fair? Hmm. If you are at home with your family, it would be very kind of you and very fair of you to help with cleaning a little bit, maybe even helping with some cooking so you can share it all together. Well, goodbye, little red hen. Goodbye, little mouse. Goodbye, little cat. Goodbye, little dog. And goodbye, little cottage for today.